we restated all of the advice that we had been delivering to the board and the community since March 2007 on new GTLDs. And that was kind of impressive. Uh, at least we like to think so. We converted that into a scorecard of about 18 issues that we felt were really, really important that needed to be resolved prior to the board approving the launch of the program. And I actually think that the GAC uh, did succeed to a great degree out of the 18 issues. Many of them were ultimately accorded a rating of a 1A by the board, which meant they agreed with us. So what, what governments really felt strongly about, we failed in, in some arenas. Um, we had proposed that there be more sensitivity and, and more sort of a, um, an affirmative embrace of the concept of categories. Because from a government perspective, we're very aware that certain words, certain strings, are going to trigger national sensitivities, whether it has to do with geography, or religion, or ethnic origin, tribal affiliations, you name it. There are all sorts of words out there that trigger different sensitivities in different countries. Some countries actually have laws. I mean, there's a, let me give you the obvious one, the easy one, .nazi, Germany and France. It's against the law. End of discussion. The rest of the GAC most likely would go along with their reservations as a gesture of comedy. That's what a lot of governments do in intergovernmental bodies, even though the GAC is not intergovernmental, we operate with one another the same way. Um, if another government came to, um, let me give the example that, that John used, dot bank. This is an idea that we know is floating around. Well, for a lot of us, this is a highly regulated sector. Dot pharmacy could be another one, anything to do with children. So anything to do with a highly regulated sector or a sector that we have experience in, in knowing it's vulnerable or the community is vulnerable, the elderly, children, etc. We might take the view that, um, you know, time out, don't even go there. 